This is a demo on how you can use the combination of Biovia Pipeline Pilot and Cortellus APIs to run a particular query and create specialized reports for output. The targets of Immunotherapy Trial Drugs Pipeline Pilot Protocol takes all of the targets of the drugs from immuno-oncology clinical trials for a chosen indication and creates a report for each target. The report shows the target summary from the target's API and an active drug summary for each condition from the drug design API that the target is associated with. First, you must log into Cortellus Labs. Across the top of the web page, you will see the list of Cortellus APIs. For this demo, we will click on the Targets to load the Targets API web page. Scroll down to the Demos area, and in the purple bar for the Targets of Immunotherapy Trial Drug Pipeline Pilot, click the plus sign. You will now see a, a screenshot of the Biovia Pipeline Pilot demo, a brief description of the demo, and a listing of the APIs used in the creation of the demo. In this case, the clinical drug design and targets APIs. From here, click the purple demo button to go to the Biovia Web Portal login page. This should open in a new tab or window of your browser. To get the login credentials, go back to the tab or window for Cortellus Labs, click the Home button in the top left of the screen, and then in the Welcome section of the home page, you will see the username and password to be used for Biovia Pipeline Pilot's web portal. Copy that and log into the portal. For this protocol, in the left-hand section entitled Parameters, you will see the search options provided for this report. You can choose the disease from the drop-down list. For the purposes of this demo, only five disease choices are offered. Therefore, we will choose lung cancer. Next, you will see the query string or call is already provided to be able to run this protocol. This call is basically saying to first connect to the clinical API to look for trials, and then look at the mechanisms of action for the drugs that are used in the various clinical trials. For this query, we are narrowing down the results to ID 1596, which represents the immunomodulator class of drugs. This ensures we are viewing only the drugs with an immuno-oncology approach being used in the trial. Once you've chosen the disease, click the Submit button to run the report. In the results area of the web page, you will now see that each resulting target has its own tab. Please note for that, this demo, only five maximum results will be shown. This report shows summary data about the target from the target's API and active drugs data from the drug design API, all leading to more detailed data on the associated drug. You will not see in this report trial data from the clinical API. For this protocol, the trial data is being used to link to the drug's data via the drug design API which is then used to get the targets of those drugs from the targets API. For lung cancer, there are four different targets resulting from the query. Looking at the first results tab, you can see the target summary for programmed cell death protein one. 
The top box shows data from the target's API, including the target name, the type, the protein description, and the molecular mechanisms associated with the target. This data comes from passing the get targets record operation of the targets API. Below this is a bar chart that shows the count of active drugs for target program cell death protein 1, broken out by the indication that the drug is being used for. If you hover over one of the bars, you can see it lists the associated indication and the count of the active drugs. For instance, this bar shows the indication of cancer bladder associated with four active drugs. Clicking on this bar will run another protocol in the background through the Drug Design API that will retrieve those drugs that are related to that indication from the bar chart. In the bottom results area, you can now see data on the associated drugs. This shows both launched drugs by name as well as some pre-release drugs. You will notice that it is only showing active drugs due to the way in which the data was originally filtered in the protocol. The drug condition name, status, highest phase, and target name come from the get drug results operation of the drug design API. This then provides the drug ID, which can then be used in the get drug records call to get even more detailed information on the associated drug such as the chemical names and descriptions seen in the last column of the data. This demo is a perfect example of how you can use BioVia Pipeline Pilot to filter the data from an API, in this case by active development, to help narrow the results of your query. For example, when querying the target's API, it will show results for all the drugs of a particular indication for that target, including those that are not in active development. However, by using Pipeline Pilot, as shown in this demo, you can filter down the results of the query to only display the drugs in active development for that particular target.